Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today we are going to discuss the insinuation that um, Kelly Kumalo pulled the trigger. Um, firstly, in this uh, YouTube channel, we subscribe and do not sanction social sentencing, uh, but we will provoke the truth derived from elements of uh, evidence at hand. I will begin by watermarking this by saying allegedly. Okay, um, on the 29th of August 2023, um, the state led the evidence of Dr. Johannes Stienkemps, which was um, an autopsy report. So he led this report and uh, gave us um, the elements um, uh, that actually uh, caused Senzo Maywa's death. So basically, um, I would say that uh, an autopsy, uh, it's actually performed for several uh, important reasons, which will um, be uh, determining the cause of death, uh, medical research, legal and forensic purposes, um, quality assurance, and uh, family closure. But in this case, I would say uh, the favored aspects would be uh, determining the cause of death, uh, legal and forensic purposes, and uh, family closure. So in determining the cause of death, autopsies help to determine the cause of death when it is unclear or when there are suspicions of foul play. They can uncover underlying medical conditions, diseases, or injuries that may have uh, been put uh, that may have been uh, evident during uh, the person's life. Um, apologies. Um, in uh, legal and forensic purposes, uh, autopsies play a crucial role in legal and forensic investigations, um, especially in cases of suspicious or unexpected death. So um, they provide evidence for criminal investigations, help establish the manner of death, um, such as natural, accidental, suicidal, or homicidal. And they also assist in identifying potential perpetrators. Okay. And then um, in, in, in uh, family closure, in the aspect of family closure, autopsies um, can provide closure and peace of mind uh, to the family members of the deceased by providing definitive answers regarding the cause of death. This can be particularly important in cases where the cause of death is uncertain or when there are concerns about hereditary conditions. Okay, um, basically um, these uh, uh, autopsies are essential for ensuring accuracy in those mentioned aspects, whereby in this case they aid legal investigations and providing closure to families. So, here is my opinion. Um, Dr. Johannes Stienkamp testified or led his evidence um, at the Senzo Mewa trial on the 29th of August, um, 2023. He said that Senzo Mewa was 1.77 meters tall with an estimated weight of about 80 kg, fit and healthy sportsman. Never forget that as I go on with my opinion on the matter and try to rebut the insinuation that Kelly Kumalo is the one who pulled the trigger. I am going to discuss only that fact or that opinion that she pulled the trigger and nothing else okay um so um the doctor testified as well that um the bullet perforated senzo at an angle of depression citing that the perforation of the bullet also loses the center line of the body 
and exited downwards. Which means Senzo Meiwa may have tried to sway the gun away from his body. So if we look at this two elements that I've discussed. Um, Kelly Kumalo is shot in relation to Senzo Meiwa. Um, I don't have her exact height, uh, but I have seen her once performing. Secondly, um, Kelly cannot overpower Senzo to press him downwards. Um, as per the, this autopsy evidence, um, again, Kelly could not manage to press Senzo if his adrenaline is high or when anxious and fighting for his life. Unless he was, you know, um, going down, you know, begging uh, uh, while going downwards without actually believing that she will pull the trigger. But that cannot be true and it's not part of the evidence. And um, the evidence at hand suggests a depressive state when the bullet was ignited by the trigger. Okay. Um, now we have another person who is um, accused number three, who is said to have pulled the trigger, allegedly. Um, who, his name is Carlos Mnube. Carlos Mnube is also shot, but we cannot dispute the fact that he might be um, strong uh, or powerful or um, having the, 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 you know, a great energy to, to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Senzo Meiwa, who was a physically fit uh, sportsman. Um, so I would say in relation to Carlos Mnube, I would say that um, physical strength is uh, not solely uh, determined by height, um, while, but uh, taller individuals have certain advantages in terms of leverage uh, in some situations. Um, strength itself is a, a, com a combination of factors including uh, muscle mass, uh, uh, conditioning, uh, technique, and overall uh, physical fitness. So um, Carlos Mnube and uh, Senzo Meiwa um, Tassel um, may have been 50-50, but he might need twice the weight, twice the strength to actually press a physically fit sportsman. So, according to this testimony, um, the conclusion would then mean that the accused uh, uh, who actually pulled the trigger must be taller than the two people I have mentioned or the same height to depress Senzo Meiwa before pulling the trigger. Without forgetting that there is contradiction between eyewitnesses about which accused was in a tussle with the deceased. So which that as well gives, um, you know, a lot of uh, questions as to actually who pulled the trigger. Mind you, um, Everybody in the house who has witnessed at this stage did not literally say how the shot was fired. All that happened is that they had a gun shot and they dashed. So I would close this by um, asking, what is long way? as BMI, his body mass index. Is he tall? 
Is he short? I've never seen him. Is does he have a a, a probable physique um, to actually uh, go to to toe with uh, uh, Senzo Meiwa? Um, we need his height and weight to rule him out of this probability or insinuation that he may also have pulled the trigger. Please let me know what you know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Voila.